Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage. This is a 2003 Honda Civic and uh, it has a paint job that's about a year old and the owner says that after she uh, picked up the car the paint was never actually shiny and so what we're going to try to do is just uh, rub it out, buff it out and try to get some shine back to the paint. It almost looks like it's textured like primer and uh, here's the deal a, a smooth surface will hold up better than a textured surface when it's exposed to the elements all the time. So uh, we're going to try to machine polish this, smooth the paint over, clear it up a little bit, and try to get some color out of this atrocious paint job. Anyway, that's going to be taking place at Auto Geek Online on the forum, autogeekonline.net, and uh, we'll just see if we can't breathe some life back into this paint job. Mike Phillips down here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage, and this is the 2003 Honda Civic, and uh, Earlier I took a video of it outside in the sun and now here it is after I've wiped it down and got all the loose surface dirt off of it. This is the hood. And you can see right there there's stains, okay? And these are coming down off the water, water squirter there for the windshield. So the stains have stained the paint. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get all those out of there. But you can see by the reflection of the fluorescent lights overhead that there's just absolutely no clarity, no gloss to the paint at all. It's uh, extremely oxidized. I did do a little test to uh, the B pillar, and what I found out is this is actually single stage paint. Now, after it was wrecked, they replaced the headlight that broke, but they didn't replace the headlight that wasn't broke, and so over time it's faded and turned yellow. So. We'll fix that for coral tonight too. And I'll just do a little walk around here. But this is single stage. It is incredibly dull and oxidized. And so our job is to try to restore the gloss and clarity and get that finish all smoothed up so it'll resist deterioration better in the future. Again, here's the overhead fluorescent lights. See, they're up above over here, reflecting down on the car. and Everything's all foggy around. They're not, the reflection should be clear and distinctive. The term is DOI, distinction of image. And this has, like, on a scale from 1 to 10, zero. I mean, you can obviously see there's a light overhead, but there's just no clarity to the reflection at all. And there's water spots and scratches and swirls everywhere. So this is a really good candidate for an extreme makeover. And that's what we're going to do. A couple of my uh, detailing buddies are getting ready to show up. And uh, we're going to put the uh, Duragloss products through their paces. And then I'll take another video showing the after results. And I'll come back in here and we'll see if we just can't get a little bit better, a little more clear reflex, uh, refle reflection of Ivan there coming off the door. So anyway, 2003 Honda Civic. extreme oxidation which makes for a perfect extreme makeover the thing we're going to do uh, for this um, Honda is we're going to clay it. My friend Jeff's here, he's a professional detailer here in the Stewart area and he's got this speedy prep towel here and one side has the uh, clay inside on it, the other side is just like a soft microfiber and we're going to be using this with the uh, Detailer's Universal Clay Lube. And Jeff's just going to demonstrate real quickly just how easy this is to use to clay your car. We're just going to do the hood here. I'm going to actually use a normal clay bar on the back and then flip it over just to show how much dirt was actually accumulated onto the uh, paint. So go ahead, Jeff. Knock it out. You can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it too, yeah. can't you? Yeah, use plenty of lube. Now, can you feel the paint uh, go smooth as you're rubbing that? Yeah. It's pretty easy to tell because it's fairly tactical. You can feel it with your sense of touch. So, so Jeff, how long have you been detailing cars? About 20 years. <laughs> and uh, this first time you used the Speedy Prep Towel? This time, it's unbelievable. Would you buy one of these? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well keep going. Let's knock out the whole hood and then I'll turn this camera off. And then I'll help you. 
hey, you know, once in a while when we do these projects down here, I actually like get in there and do a little work for myself or help out the guys and do some of this work myself. But someone's got to hold the camera. <laughs> The cool, one of the cool things about that is, say if you drop it, you can uh, rinse it off and then continue using it. If you drop a clay bar, most of the time you're going to throw it away because there's no way to be able to tell if you were able to get all the abrasive particles out of the clay, and you certainly don't want to risk scratching a car trying to clay it. So, I mean, it's just common sense to throw the clay bar away. But with this, hey, wash it, rinse it, put it back to use again. Now, when we first started uh, on this car, uh, Jeff got here, we wiped this thing all down, got all the surface dirt off, and I took some video to show how dull the paint was. It's my guess that after just claying this, the paint's going to become a little more clear and a lot smoother. And the, one of the primary benefits you want to use uh, detailing clay, or in this case, the Speedy Prep Towel to clay neglected paint, is to remove the above surface bonnet contaminants. That restores smoothness and gloss comes from smoothness. So just by claying this, we're going to increase the gloss. But the other benefits are, is no matter what wax we're going to use on this car, uh, claying and getting those contaminants out of the way will help the wax to stick better because it can actually get to the paint. Uh, we are going to machine buff this, and so the benefit to claying before machine buffing is to uh, get the contaminants off the paint so they don't loosen up and then get trapped between your pad and the uh, the, the paint where they could actually start to swirl the paint. So you've clayed this one half here, so I'm just going to come over here and kind of pan across. So this, this side has not been touched, and this side has been clayed. And this is actually, I thought we'd see a little more clarity here, but listen to my hand. Now let's go over here. And you can definitely hear a difference, you know. This side feels pretty rough. I come over here. This feels nice and smooth. So the Speedy Prep towel works really good as, a, as another alternative to normal clay. Anyway, so I'm going to jump in here and give them a hand. We're going to clay the rest of this. Then we're going to uh, start doing some of the machine polishing. Well, Jeff's up there and Robert's here now and they're using the Speedy Prep towel to uh, clay the sides of the car. And by the way, the entire car is contaminated. You got to remember, uh, the girl that owns this uh, parks this thing outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anyway, this is a Meguiar's clay, and we've used this in the past, but it's still in good shape. And then I've got the uh, Detailer's Universal Clay Loop, and I'm going to clay just the deck lid, and then I'm going to show you the clay to see how much gunk we pulled off there. So hang tight. Okay, back. I just clayed the deck lid. Look, you can still see the clay lube is on there. And I just took this one side of the clay bar and rubbed it over the uh, entire rear of the uh, trunk lid here, and look at the gunk that's just coming off of here. This is horrible. So anyway, so the, the Speedy Prep Towel won't show you this type of accumulation, so that's why I wanted to just show you here with the clay bar, so you can see just how contaminated this car was. Okay, let's get back at it, guys. Okay, here we are with the end results. So let me just walk around here and let you check out the gloss. Now when this car got here, it had a lot of oxidation. It didn't have hardly any reflection or shine at all. Actually, it had zero reflection or shine. And if you remember, that headlight was all yellowed. So we restored the clarity of the headlight. Then we amped up the gloss on the car. Look, you can see the reflection of everything on the wall over there. Now you can see the overhead reflection of the fluorescent lights. Everything's all glossy and shiny. And of course, protected. Huge difference. Huge difference. We dressed the tires so they're all nice and clean and black. Look at that gloss. We polished the glass so it's just as glossy as the paint. Look at the reflection coming off the roof now. Before, there was no reflection at all. There we go. We, we had zero reflection of Ivan on the door. Now you can see his smiling face. There we go. Coming off the floor there. We also polished out the uh, plastic housings for the rear view mirrors. Now there's a lot of deep scratches. We didn't even try to get those out. But it was a dull faded black and now it's all clear and glossy and black. It looks good. Just look at the gloss on the A pillar there. So I think mission is accomplished. 
We have a wisecracker over there. So it came out pretty good. And there's the other headlight housing. You see it's all clear and glossy. And then for this process tonight, we first started out using the Detailer's Waterless Auto Wash just to get the car clean. Then we used the Detailer's Universal Clay Lubricant with the uh, Speedy Prep Towel uh, to clay the whole car. And then we went right into the Duragloss 501. And we used a variety of tools, rotary buffer, DA polishers, and different foam pads. We avoided the wool pad because we found out this is a single stage metallic finish. And if you buff too long in one area, you can actually uh, change the appearance of the flake. And if you're running the rotary buffer back and forth, you'll give it what's called tiger stripes. So uh, once we found out this was a single stage metallic finish, we, uh, we just knocked out the deck lid and the roof or the deck lid and the hood with the rotary buffer, then we would switch over to DA polishers for the rest. And then for the uh, wax, we went and put on the, um, it's actually the Duragloss 111 there, the um, clear coat polish. We used their new glass to machine polish all the water spots off the, um, uh, off the uh, windows, all the windows. And then we used the Optibon tire gel for a tire dressing on this. So those are the basic products we use. So then again, just real quickly, check out the gloss. We restored to this car. And the thing about this is a, a smooth, uh, shiny surface like this will actually hold up against the um, elements better than a textured surface. Anyway, so that was this uh, Thursday night's project. And you can see all the high resolution before and after pictures up on autogeekonline.net. And next week we have a 2006 Mustang coming down that we're doing an extreme show car makeover. So check that out. And for all your detailing needs, visit autogeek.net. And if you're not a member of our discussion forum, get up there and join because that's where all the action's at.